Speaking about someone who has been as large of an influence on my life as my parents is really hard. There have been very few milestones in my life that grandpa hasn't been a part of. But it's not the big things that are as important as the small everyday ones. I am very fortunate to have spent days, weeks and months with him and grandma at their home in Dona Paula and on our summer vacations all over India. Here are some of my happiest memories of him which also happened to be the ones I learned the most from. The first. Everyone who visited grandpa always got offered Paris boiled sweets. No matter who they were. When I think about it, no matter how far you've come, nothing can give you the same joy and hit of nostalgia as a Paris boiled sweet. Lesson. Remember where you came from and enjoy the simple things in life. The second. Grandpa would have one scoop of ice cream after lunch and a peg of feni or urak with a side of high cholesterol chakna every single night. Lesson. Enjoy your vices in moderation and you may live to be 106. The third. Grandpa always listened to music with his eyes closed, sometimes with his head bent and resting on his thumb and forefingers. At times this meant that he was enraptured by the beauty of the music. And at others, he was hiding his horrified expression at the sounds his granddaughters produced on their violins. The lesson we get from this is, be kind and if you can't, then hide your true feelings. At 95, Grandpa got his passport renewed. He later recounted to us how the police who came for the verification had actually come to see if someone was impersonating him. He sent them off saying he was going to be the oldest man travelling to Bhutan. The lesson? Never lose your joie de vivre or sense of adventure. It will make your old age a lot more fun. These and a million more stories, anecdotes and memories are what we have to cherish from this larger-than-life human being who I am proud to be able to call my grandpa. He will forever remain in my heart, laughing loudly, singing happily, and betting wildly. against your heart I feel your lips 
the tender trembling moments start We're in a world our very own Sharing a love that only few have ever known Wine color days warmed by the sun Deep velvet nights when we Softly love so no one hears us but the sky The vows of love we make will live until we die My life is yours and all because You came into my world with love so softly
my quiet and special memories of you, Dada. Afternoon, math tutor. You not being a math whiz yourself, these were painful sessions for us both. Typing out articles for you at 10 paisas per page, you were a tough employer. Short-tempered slipper thrower, garden paradise creator and hours long on haunches weeder. My first swimming and driving instructor, church backbench giggler and sermon critiquer, road trip lover and our only long distance vacation chauffeur. Fancy shoes pretend tap dancer sharp, sharp dresser and Sunday afternoon cigarette smoker, pet trainer and the sole family dog, Walker. At dusk, piano and violin serenade. Also at dusk, small urak sipper, headstander and yoga breather, deep and glorious sleeper bird lover and small wisdoms imparter, the most liberal and easygoing of fathers. I love you and miss you, Daru.
I consider myself extremely fortunate to have known Grandpa the last uh, ten odd years as his first uh, grandson-in-law. I was always in awe of him, not only for the man I saw him as, but also for all the great stories I heard about him from the family. For me, he came off as a very principled, disciplined man with a kind smile, but whose trust and love had to be earned. I remember when I first came to ask uh, Nantara, Grandma, and Grandpa for Alicia's hand in marriage. He was welcoming, but I remember uh, being greeted with a firm handshake and a look in his eye. saying uh, you better treat her right young man it took a couple of years for the customary handshake to turn to a hug which i believe was his way of telling me that i've earned it one of my favorite memories of grandpa which also exemplifies his protection of his granddaughter was the day we were getting married in church i remember sitting in the aisle waiting for alicia to arrive grandpa was behind me he tapped me on the shoulder and with a smile on his face said Son, this is my new stick. The message was received loud and clear. Rest in peace, Grandpa. You are in my thoughts every day, and you are missed today and every day. Nana, I miss you. Thank you for being my great grandfather. You were the sweetest great grandfather any child could ever have. I love you very much.
Birds fly over the rainbow. Why don't know why can't I? Scorto